Welcome to our few moments together on the Parsha. This Shabbos, we have the privilege of reading Parshas Tzav, and of course, this is being recorded during the week of Purim, and wait a minute, where is Rabbi Snow? I see the chair, and I, oh, I know, what kind of costume? A new hat, perhaps? What are we going to wear in honor of Purim? Where is Rabbi Snow? Here comes Rabbi Snow. Oh boy, look at him. He looks just like a snowman. Welcome to our few moments together on the Parsha. It's after all Purim. And it's like Yehudim Haisa Oda, the Simcha Vesasam Yikar. There's light and joy and happiness and great value and love because kimu v'kiblu ha-Yehudim because the Jewish people fulfilled and accepted and established as our Chazal tell us kimu ma kiblu kvar they fulfilled what they had already once accepted and if you take a look at Parshas Tzav when it talks about the Karbonos at the end of Perik Zion, it says, Asher Tziva Hashem Es Moshe Bahar Sinai, which Moshe was commanded at Mount Sinai. And then it says, Biyom Tzavoso Es B'nei Yisrael, on the day that he commanded the Jewish people, Lahakriv Es Korbanehem, to bring close, their bringings close, La Hashem, to God, and once again, Bimid Bar Sinai, in the desert of Sinai. And as we know, based on the Gemara and Shabbos, when the Jewish people accepted the Torah at Mount Sinai, Mudar Rabba Oraisa, there was a great knowledge, a great statement, which would enable the Jewish people to absolve themselves, as the Gemara relates. Kofa Aleim Ar Kegigas. He held a mountain over them, as if to say, if you don't accept, I'm going to bury you here. And our Chazal tell us that despite the fact that when Mount Sinai we received the Torah, we were coerced when it came Purim. Kimu V'Kiblu Ayudim. With tremendous amounts of simcha and joy, they established and accepted what was already part of our heritage, but now it was done besimcha. Purim shows the hand of Hashem in our history, and the hand of Hashem in our history is one in which we should be exceedingly grateful, thankful, and filled with joy for. Because even though, like in the time of Mordechai and Esther, you really couldn't see the hand of God, because... It was sort of hidden in the different political machinations, which were not political at all. It was the Yad Hashem, the hand of God, in every single aspect of the Purim story. Even before Haman, ah, wipe him out, and his evil decree, already Esther was groomed to be the queen. The Rafua came before the Makkah, even before the punishment, the healing was there. And so on Purim, we dress up and we show things are not always the way they seem. It's a mask. We're on the outside. Mount Sinai, Purim have a tremendous relationship. And we have accepted the Torah with tremendous joy and simcha. And Purim should be a time where we, re where we renew our commitment once again to Kimu v'kiblu ha-Yehudim because la-Yehudim ha-Yisa oda v'simcha v'sasam v'yikar. What was at Mount Sinai may be a little bit of a coercion, but today it's all with our free will, with love, and thankfulness for the gift of the Torah, for the gift of Hashem's hand in history, and for the gift of Hashem's watchfulness.
over each and every one of us. Have a Freilichen Purim. Have a Purim filled with Simcha. Have a Purim filled with joy. Performance of the mitzvahs. The keeping of the giving of tzedakah, of matanos of yonim, of giving mishloach manos ishleveyehu, of having a su'uda. And don't forget, chayevinish lebesume bepurya adelo yada, beit oro homen lebaruch mordechai, which of course means, have a little bit to eat, drink a small amount of wine, and perhaps take a nap, and you don't know the difference. Have a wonderful Purim and a great Shabbos.